Hey guys, get ready me for Galentine's Day. My friend is hosting a Galentine's Day with all our friends and I'm so excited because I feel like I haven't been out of the house in forever. Like these past couple days have been so boring, I've been doing so much homework, so I'm so happy I get to see all my friends. Also, you guys have been asking what these pads are. These are the Peach and Lily all-in-one moisture pads. I just started using their skincare and I absolutely love it so far. Their skincare is the definition of glass skin. And I love how minimalistic their packaging is. Speaking of glass skin, they literally have a serum called the Glass Skin Serum that literally gives you glass skin. I love how their skincare feels on my skin. And they also have a glass skin mist, which I used in the beginning. And I'm putting more because it feels so good. Like, look how glowy my skin looks. Anyways, we're all wearing pajamas to Valentine's Day, and Victoria's Secret just sent me this Valentine's Day pajama set, which was so sweet and literally, like, perfect for this occasion. Victoria's Secret sent me, like, two boxes filled with the Valentine's Day goodies, and I posted a haul for you guys, but it kept getting taken down because it was a little scandalous. But I ended up just reposting it on my other account, so you guys can go watch it there if you want. I'm also going to bring, like, a cute outfit because I think we want to take photos without our, like, pajamas. And I'm so excited! I don't think I've ever done, like, a Valentine's Day with my friends ever. Literally, guys, who needs a man for Valentine's Day when you have your friends? Or your family. Like, Valentine's Day is just about love. It's not about having a significant other. Also, guys, my tattoo appointment is tomorrow. I can't believe it's coming up so fast. I thought it was still weeks away, and I checked my calendar, and it literally says tomorrow. So, I think I know what I want, but I'm still, like, not 100% sure. Why is my concealer, like, separating? Using my good old NARS concealer. Some of you guys were asking why I booked a tattoo appointment without knowing, like, what tattoo I was gonna get already. Tattoo tattoo appointment was actually a birthday gift from a brand that I worked with so no I didn't book it without knowing what I was gonna get but I've been wanting to get a tattoo for literally the longest time so I'm so excited my mom came up with a few designs that I really really like so I think I might go with that but I'm gonna do a bit more like research also guys I didn't realize how soon the Super Bowl was like happening not gonna lie I don't think anyone could top Rihanna's performance last year that was just like unmatched probably one of the most iconic things to happen in 2023 also guys i finally slicked my hair back today this is like my fourth day without washing my hair which is actually a really long time for me i usually wash it every like three days but i'm so happy i can finally wash it tonight i'm gonna put some of this like pink shimmer since it's like a special occasion nose in the corners mm, skin is skinning today there's no filter by the way I don't really know what outfit to wear yet for like the non-pajama part. Okay, lips, we're doing something a little different today. Using this lip liner from Rare Beauty, the shade Wise. It's a bit of a darker color than what I usually go for. But I'm using Fenty's new gloss shade in the shade Fuchsia Flex. Look at how pretty that is. Turned out so good. Bye guys. Hi guys, get ready me to get my first ever tattoo. Guys, I cannot believe the day is actually here. It feels like it's still weeks away, but I'm getting my tattoo today. Okay, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what design I want. I'm just thinking about the placement right now. I'm thinking, like, my ribs. Like, kind of, like, right under my boob, but I heard that it hurts so bad because it's, like, right on your ribs. So, like, I don't know. Like, my pain tolerance isn't that, like, high, so I'm kind of scared. And so if I don't end up getting it, like, right under my boob, I'm thinking I'm gonna get it, like, on my collarbone. I think collarbone tattoos are so pretty, but I'm just, like, scared because if it's on my collarbone, you'll be able to see it, like, basically almost every day. I also wear tank tops a lot, so it'll be really obvious whenever I wear, especially in summer. But I don't know, I feel like it'll look really good, especially since it's, like, my first tattoo. My mom also, like, somewhat designed this, so it's gonna be really special. I bought this Bobbi Brown, like, primer a while ago, and I feel like I never use it, but... I should because it was so expensive. I just feel like saving it for like a major event since it's such a thick cream, but this is a major event. Also, some of you guys were telling me not to get a tattoo because it's a sin. And guys, I appreciate you like looking out for me, but it is my body at the end of the day. And we also have different beliefs, so don't worry about it, guys. Also, I just want to thank Bank Media for organizing all this and doing this for me for my 18th birthday. Like, you guys just knew I've been wanting a tattoo for a while and made this appointment. Thank you guys so much. Wait, guys, why am I actually getting kind of scared? Like, this tattoo is going to be on me forever, like, permanent. Also, guys, my hair has never felt so voluptuous before I washed it last night. After, like, three, four days without washing it, so it feels so fresh and clean right now. I was up until, like, 3 a.m. last night because I came home from my, like, Valentine's Day with my friends, like, super late. 
got home at like 1 and did a full everything shower like hair body everything and then i kept browsing on my computer to look for more tattoo designs to make sure that what i want is what i wanted i also hope it heals like properly because my skin is pretty sensitive i just know after i get this tattoo i'm gonna be wanting like five more i really want to get matching ones with my sister because i have two sisters and I feel like if all three of us did, like, three little stars, it would be so cute. I also really want to do, like, matching ones with my mom. Mom used to be, like, the tattoo police. She was so against them for so long. She also used to hate piercings and wouldn't let us get any piercings at all. But, like, look at her now. She's willing to get a matching tattoo with me, and I have, like, 40 different piercings. My mom used to be the strictest mom, I know, but now she's the chillest mom that I know. And I love her for that. Wish me luck, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Come with me to get my first ever tattoo. Okay, first of all, what the fuck? They picked us up in a hot pink limo. Like, that's actually insane. I've never been in a limo before, so that was, like, my first time. Made a whole-ass cake that says Katie's first tattoo. And then we started designing what I wanted. This was actually somewhat my mom's design. Just look at how cute that cake is, like... Okay, this is the final design we kind of decided to go with. It's like an infinity sign, but my horoscope's like shooting through it. Because I'm a Sagittarius, so it's like a bow and arrow kind of. And then we put the stencil on to see how I would like the placement. I wanted it somewhere on my collarbone. I did not like this. That was way too low, so we moved it up higher a little. And then I think I decided to go with this one. Yeah, like that just looked a little better. I wear tank tops a lot, so I didn't want it to be hidden under the straps. So this was literally like the perfect placement. I'm like obsessed looking good okay this is when i started getting really nervous i didn't know how bad it would hurt but it was actually like the most painless thing ever it's less painful than any like piercings i've ever gotten it feels like a good itch and it's almost like a type of good pain i don't know if that even makes sense but it also only took like 15 minutes 15 20 minutes that's the end result ah! i still can't get over it looks so freaking good and then we put like the protective um wrap thing on top and then we all had some ramen it was so delicious and they literally framed my first tattoo how thoughtful is that like are you insane and then this is us heading back home thank you so much chronic ink and joanna thank you so much for everything i love it so much bye guys hey guys i just got my tattoo today and it was literally the best experience ever i got it right here on my collarbone and this is what it looks like it's basically an infinity sign with my like horoscope shooting through it because i'm a sagittarius so it's like a bow and arrow i think it turned out so good like way better than i imagined and it's so unique i've never seen anyone get anything like that just want to shout out to bank media for doing this for my 18th birthday it was so sweet of you guys and like one of the best experiences ever of course thank you to chronic ink for having me and for doing all this they also gave me a bunch of jewelry for my birthday as if the tattoo wasn't enough I want to show you guys how pretty these are. Like, look at this little butterfly one. This one's also so cool. This ring's probably my favorite. This is all from Chronic House, by the way, if you guys want to check them out. Okay, I just washed my face. I always feel so, like, winded and wide awake after I wash my face. Some of you guys were asking me to rate the pain level from 1 to 10. I'd say, like, 3 or 4. It really didn't hurt that bad at all. It felt like a really good itch. Kind of like a little tickle. The needle itself didn't hurt, but... When you're getting tattooed, they're always wiping off, like, the ink. And that hurts way more than the actual, like, needle. I'm already thinking about my next tattoo. My mom literally said she'd get a matching one with me, so I think that's probably the one I want to do next. Which I think is so cool, because I feel like a lot of moms, especially, like, Asian moms, are so against, like, tattoos. Also, the Grammys are tonight. Like, I didn't think it was tonight. I thought it was not, at least for another, like, week or so. But I will definitely be watching. I already know that Taylor Swift is going to announce, like, reputation. Like, come on, she has to. This is literally the perfect time. I keep seeing a bunch of, like, theories on TikTok. And they all line up. This girl with her numbers, literally, like, I don't know how she does it. But it's going to be tonight. I just, I just know it. This is my skin without the filter. And this is it with. I love how this filter makes it so smooth. Like, that's my goal. Like, I have, like, redness here, and I want to get rid of all the red spots. But I don't know. I feel like my skin's really good right now. Bye, guys. This is such, like, a random thought. But, like, is Kumon still a thing? Like, obviously, it still exists and stuff. But I feel like no one does Kumon anymore. Like, when I was little, everyone was in Kumon. Anyways, recently I've been focusing on my skin barrier a lot for my skincare routine. 
And this has been like the key product to my skin barrier. This is actually the new and improved Waterbank Cream Moisturizer. It has an upgraded formula scent and also now has a refillable packaging. So this is the one I used to use and this one's the new one. And you can see how this one has like, the new one has a pod where you can take the whole thing out and then replace it with the new one. I love the texture of this moisturizer. It's so dewy and lush. It makes my skin visibly firmer. And the Waterbank Moisturizer actually comes in three different formulas. And my skin's pretty normal, but it does lean towards more of like the dry side. So that's why I like to use the cream moisturizer. Last step is sleeping mask. My favorite flavor is sweet candy. Or not flavor, I mean scent. Bye guys! It's 2024, I think we can all agree that commenting on someone's body is not cute. Like, good or bad, I feel like it's just such a dangerous territory to be entering. I literally don't know a single person who hasn't struggled with their body image, even if it's just like the slightest bit. And commenting on it can seriously fuck with someone's head so bad. Like, it is so like mentally damaging and I don't think anyone should go through that at all. Someone DM'd me the other day and was like, can you talk about, like, Asian hate? And basically how normalized it is. And I was like, yes, because literally a few months ago, okay, hold on. People comment shit on my posts all the time. Like, the trolls are everywhere. But a few months ago, I was looking through my comments and someone called me a fucking slur, like the Asian slur. And so I click on her account and it's a little, ele like, max 11 years old. Like, how are you 11 years old and commenting that? Like, when I was 11, I didn't even know racial slurs, like, existed. Like, I was shook. That's the type of comment I'd expect from, like, a middle-aged white man. But it came from a little 9-year-old girl. Like, I am telling you, kids are getting meaner and meaner these days. My little cousin doesn't even want to talk to me. To be fair, he did call me fat, so I ghosted him for, like, two years. But that's besides the point. Like, people on the internet are just getting way too comfortable these days. Also, tell me why when someone posts a TikTok, especially girls, and if they have, like, the slightest little flaw, the whole entire comment section is like, oh, that's not- I fucking hate that comment. Like, literally, find something better to do. If you have nothing nice to say, then don't say it at all. I feel like that's a really big reason why a lot of girls really want to get into social media and want to do like get ready with me's but they're just scared for this exact reason. Thankfully, TikTok like filters out a lot of nasty comments. Like they just do it automatically because don't even get me started on Instagram reels. Like I stay away from Instagram reels. But honestly though, at the end of the day, you can never win with the internet. Like people will envy you for all like the good things you have in life. Like just because someone's successful and thriving in life doesn't mean you have to be a hater. Literally every time a brand does something nice for me, the whole comment section is always like, "Ugh, oh, she's so spoiled. Despite the fact that I'm always saying thank you, always expressing how grateful I am. Like I always talk about how these brands are always spoiling me to the max, which I'm literally so thankful and grateful for. Like this life in general. That's what I mean by like, you can never win with the internet. But at the end of the day, you're down here for being a hater and being miserable and having nothing to do with your life other than shit on someone. And I'm up here. <laughs> they hate you cause they ain't you. Dear Katie, I'd like to congratulate you on all your success. What you're doing as an 18 year old is altogether unbelievable, inspiring and proud for me. As a 42 year old Asian man, your content isn't, some, isn't what I watch on a regular basis, but I'm very impressed by your candid personality and love for life that is neither too old to be fun or too young and immature. I have a daughter who is seven, her name is she's the best thing that has ever happened to me. I don't allow her to have TikTok yet, but she does watch a lot of YouTube. She often talks about wanting to be famous and would say things like subscribe to my channel in another universe where I didn't have where I didn't have to support a large family, my dream life would be to become a father-daughter YouTube du duo, and that is how I'd spend the rest of my days. When I think about this dream, I'm often worried about what social media would do to her. But I would say, after watching your videos, I feel like that for the right person, in the right setup, with the right character and ethics, it would actually be very positive. You give me hope that one day, should my daughter chase her dreams of fame, that she might be able to turn out like you, or at least what I think you might be like. So for that, I thank you. As an Asian dad who's been through some trouble in my younger days, I can't help but offer you some advice. I hope you don't find it intrusive. I pray you never lose yourself or become unhappy with yourself or regret who you become. <laughs> I hope you always find your center, stay close to those who truly love you, and you do not <laughs> forsaken your ethics for temporary 
gratification, especially when you are sure it is not who you were, who you are, or if it is just wrong and bad. I'm unsure if we will ever speak again, but if we don't, I wish you love, joy, luck, happiness, and great relationships with your family and friends for all of your days. I hope you enjoyed your tattoo and happy birthday. Please continue to do us Asians proud and move our culture forward. It is a lot of pressure, but I think you got it. Good luck. P.S. There's also, there's no such thing as vertical success in life. Somehow, bad things happen, but hopefully not for long. And when they do, I hope you are, and you are centered, and you are ready. You do not have to fear bad things because it won't stop it from happening, but embrace it. You are stronger with overcoming even each hurdle. On behalf of myself, Joanna, and Chronic a Chronic House, I wish you well. You guys know I've been using the Function of Beauty Pro shampoo and conditioner, but they're coming out with a new product. It's the Bond Repair Custom Leave-In Treatment. I just started using it, and it helps with, like, first control, boost shine, and is also a heat protectant. It is basically an all-in-one product. And of course, it's customizable. I want a fashion week tomorrow, so I want my hair to be really nice and shiny. So I'm using the Shine Queen as my concentrate today. You can also use it on dry hair if you want to just get that instant shine. You don't have to wash it off, which is like the best part. Like my hair is already getting so shiny. Oh my gosh. Like look at this side compared to this side of my hair without. Perfect for on the go. Guys, I've been looking for like Hailey Bieber's necklace for the longest time. She always wears that really big like bee necklace. And I keep finding places that would sell it, but I couldn't find any. But finally, like last week, I just saw this place that sells them. Okay, this is the brand, EP Jewels. I'll also tag them in the caption. But they make like the jumbo um, initial necklaces in like every letter. Oh my god, I'm so- <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so much cuter in person. They unfortunately didn't have silver, which really sucks because I know there's so many like silver girlies, but thankfully I like mix and match gold and silver all the time. So I was like, okay, then this is like literally perfect. Look at how pretty it is, like the little details and everything. Okay, wait, I want to put it on. This is the length. It's not super long, but let's see. This is so cute. Wait, is it inverted? I can't tell. Okay, it's not. It just looks like it because the camera flips it. It's literally so cute. My little Kate is in the back. It's like big sister, little sister. Obsessed. Guys, get ready with me for fashion week. I like can't believe those words just came out of my mouth. I'm literally leaving in half an hour. It's 4.30 in the morning right now, by the way. Life has just been feeling so unreal these days. I don't know. It's like a year ago today, I was literally in high school. And a year later, I'm getting invited to New York Fashion Week. I have so many exciting things planned for this weekend. I hope you guys are ready. I don't even think I'm prepared myself. Also, I've never woken up so energetic before. Usually, my flight time to New York is always the same. And I always have to wake up at like 4.30. But like this morning, as soon as my alarm went off, I didn't even blink twice. I just got up and went straight to the bathroom. I also don't think I got any sleep last night because I was up doing all my assignments. I was trying to get all my work done before fashion week because I am not doing <laughs> assignments or homework during fashion week. I did most of it, but I still have some work to do on the plane, which is fine because it's like five hours. Okay, I'm putting some makeup on, which is so criminal. I've never worn makeup. That's a lie, but I never intentionally wear makeup on a plane. But I have a fitting right after I land with Philip Lim. Oh my god! This is like starting to get real and starting to feel real. But anyways, I have a fitting right after I land. So I don't want to look completely like musty for it. And then right after the fitting, I have an event with YSL Beauty right after. Which is literally insane. Like I cannot believe I'm going to a YSL Beauty event. And this is all happening tonight. So I'm going to be living like four different lives. But I'm so excited. Also, I will be vlogging this whole trip on YouTube. I'm trying to get my YouTube grind back, so stay tuned. I really hope I'm not, like, forgetting anything because this is such an important trip and I don't want to, like, be stressed out. Okay, I really don't want to do any more makeup than I have to, but I feel a little bit greasy, so I'm just going to do a bit of powder under my eyes. Okay, guys, I think I'm ready. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hi guys, I'm just about to go to the YSL Beauty candy shop event, but I still have my lips to do, so let's do them together. So I've got all four shades of my YSL candy glazes. 
My favorite one is shade 02, which is just pretty much a clear. These candy glazes literally make for the perfect Valentine's Day gift. It is such a luxurious product and it's literally gloss in a stick form. But for this event, I feel like I'm going to spice it up a little. So I'm going to be using 13. Also guys, the event I'm going to is open to the public February 9th from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Make sure you guys stop by and grab a candy glaze. I promise you won't regret it. The shade looks so good. It's like a raspberry red. Alright guys, I'm all ready. I'm going to be taking you guys with me. get dressed with me for alice and olivia so first i'm wearing this gorgeous sequin dress it's all black and it's like a little mini dress it's so cute it is so cute and so comfortable i love how you can see my tattoo with this also i just got my makeup done by charlotte tilbury literally the best looks so good perfect for alice and olivia <laughs> okay and this is my favorite part I'm wearing this jacket on top. Both these pieces are Alice and Olivia, by the way. I think this literally just complements the whole outfit. I'm gonna put it on like this. I'm not gonna actually wear it. The little bow was so cute. I'm obsessed. Okay, and then for shoes, I'm gonna wear these Chanel. It's like Chanel shoes, I don't know. They're new, then there's a little bit of black, so I think it'll go with the outfit really well. These are actually really comfortable, so I can actually walk in these. This is the final look. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Get ready with me. My trip has unfortunately officially come to an end. This was probably the best weekend I've had, period. But I was supposed to stay a little later, like two, more, two extra days for a different event. But didn't work out, unfortunately. Hopefully next time, though. But I'm not going to lie. I'm so fucking tired. I also have so many like assignments that's due tomorrow yay and so i knew for a fact that if i stayed any longer i would not be getting those done so good thing i'm going home also i got my whole glam done by charlotte tilbury yesterday and we did a red like a bright red lip i kid you not that did not come off all night like i had dinner we were out for like a few hours and i didn't have to do any like touch-ups it was so bright red like i don't know how this is what the makeup artist used. He used the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in the shade um, Kiss and Tell and then this lipstick. It just says HV at the bottom, so I don't know. But like yellow, I never do like full beads. So every time I looked in the mirror or like opened my phone and looked at my face, I'm like <gasps> jump scared because <laughs> my eyes were so bold and my lips were so bold as well. Like I don't know if y'all can see, but there's still a bit of red in like the cracks. My lips are dry AF right now, so I'm just gonna remove it with this. I literally packed this ginormous bag of makeup, like, knowing that I'm going to be getting my makeup done for the next couple days. Today's the first day I'm doing my makeup on my own since I've gotten here. Also, if you actually use your fingers to apply the milk jelly tint, it applies on, like, much naturally. Like, much more naturally, and it doesn't dry as fast, and it looks so good. Mine's in the shade Burst. Anyways, guys, I have so many, like, photos and videos I still have to post, and I can't wait to post all the pics on instagram also post them on here if you don't follow me on ig but i can't wait for you guys to see also shout out to coco kind for putting all this together and organizing all this and putting the best group of girls literally together i honestly don't know how people do a whole week of events during fashion week by the first day i was already like passed out okay just quickly really really quickly did my brows it oh, i don't care about my brows also, guys, I literally met Nikki Hilton without realizing I met Nikki Hilton yesterday. <laughs> we were at the Alice and Olivia show. We were getting in line for the carpet. And then my friend Bailey was talking to Nikki. And then she goes, oh, Nikki, this is my friend Katie. And I'm like, hi, nice to meet you. But I didn't know her name was Nikki. So we were just talking. And then she was like, oh, my God, I love your outfit. <laughs> anyway, she was so sweet. We had a really good conversation. It was really quick. And then after she left, I asked Bailey. I was like, why is she so parasol encoded? And Bailey was like, because that is Paris Hilton's sister. And then I was like, oh. Anyways, yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> Anyways, gotta go now. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, get ready with me while I tell you guys every person I met during Fashion Week. You guys have always said that I look like Emily from the Ha Sisters, so I finally met my long lost sisters. I didn't get to meet Emily on this trip, but hopefully the next one for sure. But both Erica and Evelyn were so sweet, literally exactly as they are on YouTube. 
Next is Olivia Jade, literally one of the top three sweetest people I've ever met in my whole entire life. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but her voice itself was just so welcoming, so sweet. She was just so nice. And I feel like she was actually interested in what I had to say. Okay, next person is Noah Beck. I didn't actually meet him because I chickened out. I walked up to him and I was this close to him and then I just, I, I couldn't. I don't know why, I just got so scared. He seemed so nice though, talking to people. I don't know, he just looked really nice. Honestly, looking back at it now, I should have said hello to him, but I genuinely think that I'm just scared of men and I don't know how to talk to them. Okay, next is Ariana Greenblatt. I don't want to say her name wrong. I'm really sorry if I did say it wrong, but you may know or heard of her from the Barbie movie. Literally, also in my top three nicest people I've ever met. And she told me that she saw my video of me crying going into work. I was like, are you serious? And the fact that she's only 16 just like baffles me. Like she has done so much. Good for her. Next is Erica Titus. Literally, imagine her on TikTok, but 10 times nicer. I just like remember watching her and her sister back in like 2020. And it was just such like a surreal moment. Okay, next is Bailey Bass. Again, another top three sweetest people I've ever met. I swear, all these people were so nice. I don't think I've ever had a bad experience with anyone. And I feel like even if I did, I probably wouldn't, like, talk about it because I'm scared. <laughs> like, she was just so sweet. We went to the Alice and Olivia event together, which was terrifying. It was such a fun event, but there was just, like, so many people. It was so scary, but it made it so, like, comfortable for me. And she was, like, introducing me to, like, a bunch of people and, like, literally stayed by my side the whole time. This brings me to the next person I met, which was Nikki Hilton. I didn't know it was, like, Nikki Hilton I was talking to when I was talking to her. But she was really nice. She complimented my outfit because I'm pretty sure she's, like, one of the designers for Alice and Olivia. She was absolutely gorgeous, like, literally straight out of television. Okay, next we have Lola Tung and Minnie Mills from The Summer I Turned Pretty. Also, guys, I finally got the Givenchy blushes. I got it in the shade number four. And then I also got it in the shade number six to try. Like, look. Okay, I'm going to use shade number four. This one's like a lighter pink. They don't sell this in the Sephora in Canada. So when I saw this in New York, I was like, oh my god. Really pretty though, but I don't think this powder puff works really well. But yeah, we met um, Lola in during her Broadway show, which was like insane. But guys, Lola can sing like so well. Her voice is insane. I had no idea she could sing. And then we got to meet her after the show and say hello. Literally the sweetest person ever. I'm gonna do this say gloss. Bye guys. Hey y'all, Rode sent me their watermelon, um, no, pineapple um, cleanser, so we're gonna try it. I've heard so many, like, good things. I'm gonna put my hair up. Look at this little claw clip, so cute. Also, look at how messy my desk literally is right now. It's disgusting. So I think you're supposed to wipe your face before, but I'm so lazy, so I'm just gonna drench my face in this. Honestly, I just wanna see if it'll remove my waterproof mascara. But first, we gotta see if it actually smells like pineapple. Looks like the color of... <gasps> it's unscented. Okay, so it looks like the pineapple color, but it doesn't smell like it. I've noticed that with Road, they don't have... A lot of their stuff is unscented, which actually may be a good thing for people who are really sensitive to fragrance. This scent is really, like nostalgic like, okay i'm back my face looks and feels pretty clean also i've noticed this is my old like road toner this i like actually bought on my own on their website and then this is the one that they sent me recently this one's like shiny mine's like matte so i don't know is there like a difference because why is one shiny and one's not and then i also noticed that with the peptide glazing thing like this one is shiny and this is the one that i bought on my own and it's not so also, how is tomorrow? Literally, Valentine's Day already. Congrats to everyone who has a Valentine. But I'm hanging out with my friends tomorrow, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna do a little, like, Galentine's Day. Also, I started editing my vlog for New York Fashion Week today. And it's literally so good. I can't wait for you guys to see it. My YouTube is linked in my bio if you guys want to subscribe. This moisturizer literally transports me back to 2020. This used to be, like, my holy grail. I'm pretty sure this is a new one, actually. This isn't the exact same one that I used to use. Oh my gosh, it smells the exact same. It's the e.l.f., like, moisturizer. A uh, gel, yeah, moisturizer. 
It feels like jelly on your skin. It's so moisturizing. I'm actually going out later. I don't know why I'm getting unready. My makeup was just feeling like crusty. Bye guys. Hey guys, get ready with me for Valentine's Day. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking if I have a Valentine's this year, and I actually do. And he's actually here with me right now, so I'll show you guys. I'm kind of nervous. I've, like, never shown you guys before. Actually, I have, like, a long time ago, but we were, like, on and off a lot. But, okay, hold on. He's literally so shy. He's fixing his hair right now to be on camera. Here he is! Ah! Okay, he, like, broke his leg playing football, so he can't stand still for a long time. So he's just laying down on my floor right now, resting. You guys might remember him from last year because he was also my valentine. Um, yeah, but we were just, like, on and off a lot. Oh, shit. He was busy with football, and I was busy with <laughs> TikTok, so... Okay, all jokes aside, I'm getting ready to hang out with my friend, because we're just gonna have a little girls' day. I feel like I should be wearing pink or red today, but I just really like this sweater. I just got it yesterday, and I chopped off the neck. I have the biggest obsession with cutting off the neckline of all my crewnecks. I can't wear crewnecks anymore unless it's, like, off the shoulder. Cut off the neck as soon as I got this yesterday. But yeah, happy Valentine's Day, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day filled with lots of love. I always say this, you don't need a man to celebrate Valentine's Day or just have a good Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is all about love. Literally just spending the day with your loved ones, your friends, your family. And so that's what I'm doing today. I'm spending the day with my old work bestie. I haven't seen her in actually forever, so I'm so excited. We used to work at a restaurant together. I'm not even kidding. We were so miserable. And I kid you not, we were always the ones that had to close until like 1 a.m. on school nights. And then later tonight, I'm going to hang out with my mama. I think we're going to go get hot pot for dinner. I feel like no one literally understands how much I fucking love hot pot. Also, I made my mom a boo basket. Made her a little boo basket because men ain't shit. But I just put a bunch of stuff she's been wanting. She's been really into like doing her lips. So I got her like Charlotte Tilbury lip stuff and then like a Fenty lip gloss and stuff. I was gonna get her some flowers too, but I didn't have time, but I'm going shopping my friends, so if I do see some, I'll pick some up for her. But I'm about to go ham on myself today when I go shopping, since today's Valentine's Day, and it's all about love. And so I'm gonna love myself today by spoiling myself. Also guys, I swear I'm not getting paid to say this, but this blush has been my favorite- Oh fuck. Like, it's the best dewy liquid blush. If you don't like dewy stuff, if you're a matte person, then don't get this, because it's really dewy. I mean, it's literally called the Dew Blush. Also, Benefit sent me this, like, brow wax, and it's tinted. If you know me, you know I hate filling out my brows, so these are, like, perfect. Also, guys, I'm thinking of getting another tattoo. I'm, like, already addicted after getting my first one. I just, like, want more. For my second one, I want it to be, like, hidden. Also, apparently Uber's on strike, like, where I live. I always forget how fucking bomb this Charlotte Tilbury blush is. Not gonna lie, I haven't seen a single Valentine's Day TikTok on my For You page. I never get those, like, lovey-dovey TikToks on my For You page. Okay, I just did my mascara off camera because I'm running a little behind. Okay, I'm lighting my lips. Putting a bit of Benetit on. And then last step, lip gloss. Bye, guys!